Hey Curious Kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are gonna be talking about Pluto. Yes, Pluto, the dwarf planet. Right, Pluto should be a regular planet, but it's not, it's a dwarf planet. So we're gonna talk about how far away is Pluto. It is way out there. It's still in our solar system, it did not go away. We just demoted it from a normal planet, like these people back here, to a dwarf planet. Now, we're not gonna talk about why it's a dwarf planet today, but we're gonna just talk about how far away is it from Earth, right? So, we gotta talk about a few things though, because things are moving in space. Not like this. It all goes around that big thing in the center, the sun, right? So we got Pluto that goes around the sun. We also have Earth that goes around the sun. And they go around the sun at different speeds. So sometimes, Earth and Pluto, they're on the same side of the sun. They're both over here. But sometimes, Pluto is on the opposite side of the sun. So it's even further away from Earth. So how far away is Pluto from Earth? It's a really, really big number. Are you ready? At the close part, when they're on the same side of the sun, Pluto is 2.6 billion miles away. That's the closest it can be? Yeah, well, all right, Kevin, what about when it's on the other side of the sun? What's the farthest Pluto can be from planet Earth? That's 4.7 billion miles away. That's a really far distance. How can we even comprehend how far away that is? Well, Earth, sun. The distance from the Earth to the Sun is 93 million miles. That's a very far distance as well. And we call that 1 AU, which stands for Astronomical Unit. And it's how we measure big, big distances in space. So instead of saying how many billions or millions of miles away something is, we can say how many Earth-Sun distances? How many AU is it away? So if we took this distance, 93 million miles, how much more would it be all the way out to Pluto? So it's a lot, because we were just saying it's 2.6 to 4.7 billion miles away from Earth, depending on where it is in its orbit. So when it's the closest, it's 28 AU. So 28 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And that's the closest. So the furthest, that 4.7 billion miles, is 50 AU. Pluto is 50 times further away than Earth is from the sun. That's so far, right? So let's try and comprehend this a little bit more. If we're going all the way out to Pluto, what's that equal to if we were to go around the surface of the Earth, right? So let's say you start here in Central America at the equator, and you're going all the way around Earth. How far is that? That's about 24,000 miles. So you would have to go around the surface of Earth over a hundred thousand times to get out to Pluto. We had a spacecraft that did that. That spacecraft was New Horizons and it took it nine years, over nine years to get our spacecraft to Pluto. And this is what gave us the amazing pictures and all of the interesting science information we now have about Pluto. It's really far out there. Now, on to trivia. So the answer to last week's question of what is the smallest planet in our solar system is A, Mercury. Pluto is not a planet anymore, it's a dwarf planet, so Mercury is the smallest one of our normal planets. All right, this week's trivia question is, what do you call two stars in the same system? Two stars, two of these. Is it A, Tatooine, B, a binary star, C, a double star, or D, a dual star? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.